structure is unique in all the world. $2.3 million worth of planetarium, named after its benefactors, the Strassenberg family, without whom it could not have been. When it is completed in a little over a week, it will begin its life as one of the great resources of its kind anywhere. Its architecture is nothing less than splendid, functional in the most profound sense. One man said to me the workmen were so caught up with the building's design and excellence, they each assumed a special pride in their roles. The entranceway is a striking combination of Honduras mahogany, jet black plaster, and electric blue carpet, all in sweeping curves. Donald Hall, the planetarium's education director, gave us this special preview. This is the star theater of the Strassenburg Planetarium. The room itself is 65 feet across and it's four stories tall. Beginning at a level about seven or eight feet above the floor is the sky, which is a perforated aluminum hemisphere that serves as our projection screen. And by using banks of projectors at the circumference of the room and the Zeiss Planetarium projector at the center of the room, we can visualize a complete range of topics in astronomy. The audience will be seated during a star theater show in one of the 240 chairs in the auditorium. Each one of these chairs has the ability to swivel so that the visitor will be able to look around behind him. And also the headrest of the chairs reclines so that we can uh, direct our attention overhead. Also has speakers built into it that will carry the narrator's voice so that the planetarium lecturer will be able to talk to each member of the audience individually but simultaneously. This is the Zeiss Planetarium Projector. It's a brand new model, and this is the first of its kind. It weighs about three tons. It contains 29,000 parts of 2,000 different kinds and costs about a quarter of a million dollars. The Planetarium Projector is a time and space machine and is capable of showing the sky as seen from on or near the Earth for any time or location that we select. Why do you wish to raise and lower it? We have it on an elevator so that if it would intrude on something that we're projecting up in our sky at any time, we can simply remove it from the room. This is the control console for the Zeiss projector, and also from this position we can control the special effects, the lighting, and also the music and sound effects used in each program. The Strassenberg Planetarium is the first in the world to have a computer which will assist the lecturer in presenting each of the programs. Ian McLennan, the planetarium director, and John Paris, our technical director, are getting one of the many tapes ready that will be used in the planetarium programs. After leaving the planetarium theater, the visitor will move into the exhibit area where he can see the tonight screen, the space tunnel, and the astro screen. From what I've seen here today, Don, I would guess the only thing that would uh, be more impressive would be a trip into outer space by oneself. Now, the experience of moving through space is going to be a very exciting one. This is an interesting era that we're beginning to enter.